What's up guys and welcome, my name is Charlie and in this video I want to talk about my Karcher K1700 electric pressure washer. But first, uh, if you're new to the channel, please definitely consider subscribing and if you have any questions or want to know more about the things I talk about in this video, check out the links in the descriptions below to find out. Uh, so with that, let's get started. But first, I want to make one quick caveat with this review and that is it's coming from a detailing perspective. I bought this, I'm not a professional detailer, but I bought this purely for automotive car cleaning and detailing. I don't do any kind of professional contracting work uh, like you know pressure washing driveways or houses or sidings, anything like that. This is purely a review based around how it gets used in a kind of home car washing scenario. It's a really inexpensive electric pressure washer, so I think a lot of people who are at home and want to take their detailing up to the next level, that's probably who this is for, and that's where I'm coming from as well. So let's jump right into the specs, kind of the major headline uh, figures of this pressure washer. There's not a ton to talk about as far as the overview of the product itself. It's a pressure washer, you hook water up to it, you can spray stuff off with it. Um, but for the most part, this is a 1700 PSI pressure washer. It's electric, obviously, so you have to have an outlet. Um, it's a 1.2 gallons per minute flow rate, if that means anything to you. It's got this handy cool little soap um, dispenser kind of reservoir in there, so if, I guess if you want to pressure wash with some kind of detergent, you can do that. Uh, it's got a little compartment thing uh, that you can store the hose and whatnot in, and it's got some little rolly wheels so it can roll around. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much just kind of a standard electric pressure washer. Nothing crazy fancy about it, nothing whatever out of the ordinary. But the one big thing about this specific pressure washer, one of the features and specs that it has that really drew me towards it, is the three year warranty it carries. So if anything goes wrong within three years, they have this rapid exchange program where if something dies on it for three years, they just replace it for you. And that was something that I was uh, informed about through Obsessed Garage, if you're familiar with that channel. Uh, Matt, I believe his name over there, is the one that he recommends this as an entry-level pressure washer for detailing, and I can see why now, uh, but one of the big points that he made was the warranty on this is great, so if something goes wrong, uh, the, they replace it, and it's got a great warranty program for that, so that's one of the big reasons why I went with this one as opposed to something else. And it's worth mentioning too that this is the wheeled version, so it's got a little handle and you can roll it around and stuff like that. Uh, if you're interested, and this would be something that maybe I'll do in a, uh, if I move houses and get a, a bigger space to detail cars with, they sell this as a non-rollable, kind of smaller, more compact cube version that you could mount to a wall or mount to somewhere, I don't know. So if you have a mobile detailing rig and you have it hooked up uh, you know, in the bed of a truck or something, that would be what I would probably go with. Or if you have a permanent kind of detailing bay in your house, that'd be a cool thing to have mounted on the wall or something like that, save some space. Um, it's also worth noting too that the footprint of this thing is pretty small. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It's only probably about, you know, one and a half feet by one and a half feet. So it's a really small footprint, easy to store away. It's very light. Most of it's made out of plastic. We'll get to that later, but the build quality of it is pretty good and it doesn't take up a ton of space, it's not hard to move around and things like that. That will move on to also what you get when you buy this thing. So I bought mine off Amazon. Um, you can buy them from Home Depot, I think, and any other home improvement stores like that. I bought mine from Amazon. They're the same kit though. It comes with uh, this kind of a standard spray gun like this. Uh, nothing too special, nothing too fancy, nothing too whatever. It's got the electric cord to plug it in, uh, which is wraps around the handle, and it comes with this 20-foot high-pressure hose here, uh, which we'll talk about this in a little bit because, yeah, we'll get to it. And it comes with a garden hose adapter, so you obviously need to have water sourced from somewhere. Your garden hose, it does not come with that hose, but it comes with an adapter, so if you have a hose already that you use to spray off your car, it will plug right into this, no problem. You don't need anything else extra after buying this. And probably the most important thing is the cost, uh, kind of the spec sheet. This thing generally retails for $189. So if you check on Home Depot's website or um, you know Lowe's or somewhere else like that near you, it's probably gonna be listed at $189. However, if you check out Amazon, which is where I bought mine from, they tend to go on sale all the time I think I paid about $120 for mine, but as of making this video today, check the link in the description below, um, I found it for like $105. So anywhere from $100 to $150 on Amazon typically, but 
Under $200 is the price point for this electric pressure washer, which to me uh, felt pretty reasonable. That's a good entry level price. It's not dirt cheap, but it's also not terribly expensive. Uh, this is also not a necessity. You don't need this to wash a car, but for people like you or me, if you're watching this video, it's something that's like, you just kind of want to bump it up a little bit for just home use, personal use. Uh, I felt that this was kind of the right price range for that. Initial impressions as far as build quality goes, it is an entry level kind of budget electric pressure washer solution. So there are a lot of plastic components on it, um, but even the plastic pieces don't feel poorly put together. It still feels like a solid product. It doesn't feel like something that's gonna fall apart, flimsy, whatever. There's definitely, you can tell where they cut corners on cost, but that's okay, because I'm paying for it, you know, to you know, get less money for it. And also I take care of things really well. So, you know, like I said, my review is not coming from somebody who uses a pressure washer eight hours a day on a job site. So I have no gripes with the build quality. I knew what I was buying into uh, this kind of price bracket. I knew there were gonna be some corners cut, but I think the uh, quality components are put where it counts. Uh, and I don't have any issues with, you know, like I said, the overall build quality and what I got for that. So let's go ahead and start talking about the pros of this pressure washer. Now, it's kind of funny when you start talking about a pressure washer, there's not really much to it. It's something that you hook up and it sprays water and that's what it does. It does that really well. Um, I think that it's really great. I like the idea of having an electric pressure washer. I don't have to fiddle with gas. You plug it in, it works great. For my applications, it's not underpowered. 1700 PSI seems more than enough to wash a car, depending on which kind of nozzle you use. So I'll talk about that here in a second because that's one of the pros about this is that it does come with your standardized uh, kind of quick releases here. So you can see that whatever nozzles you buy, these nozzles are not very expensive. So whatever nozzles you do buy that you like, whether you know they have different fan uh, kind of angle widths and things like that. Uh, if you already have a set of these, these are really cheap to buy on Amazon as well. So if you have a set of these, uh, they're gonna work no problem. There's no adapters needed. There's no anything like that to buy with that. Another thing too is this pressure washer one, I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it at first. Um, I, when you watch YouTube videos, you see all these people with like the short little stubby sprayers and eventually I'll buy one of those. Um, but I was, I, I've been more happy with this thing than I thought I would be. It's easy to spray off with and, and no, it doesn't leak. That's another thing too that I think is a pro about this is that for my use of it so far is that it hasn't leaked a lot. A lot of times you're probably chasing down leaks on all these different fitments and things like that. But the stuff that was included with the kit so far hasn't done any leaking and I like that. Another thing I like is the little foot switch uh, to turn it on and off. So you have a little foot switch that you can click on to make sure that you don't accidentally, I guess, spray yourself or you know, it's kind of like a disarm and arm uh, switch. It comes in handy too if you're wanting to set it down or something like that. You don't have to worry about accidentally picking it up and spraying something you're not supposed to. Kind of a minor thing. It's not necessary, but uh, it's nice that it's there. Uh, I have not used the detergent little reservoir thing. I don't think I ever will. I don't know what you could put in there. I don't know if you can put car soap in there or not. Um, I'm not going to use it, but it is a plus if it's something that you do want to pressure wash your driveway. If I ever do want to do something like that, I have the option to add detergents in it to spray it as well. That's kind of cool. Another one of the pros is that it does come with three different types of nozzles. So the one that I just showed you, I think this is a, this is a 15 degree nozzle. It's the one that I use most of the time while I'm pressure washing the car. But it also comes with a soap nozzle and a, I guess they call this a turbo nozzle. Ugh, it's got water in it still. Um, I don't use these too much, but if I ever need those, you have the option. It comes with a couple of these. But like I said, uh, one thing, the first thing I'll do is if you buy any of these pressure washers, hop on Amazon, they sell a kit that has a bunch of different uh, angles, like different types of these little nozzles. They're really cheap, like less than 10 or $15 to get a set and you can find which one works for you. Uh, check out the link in the description below and there'll be one of those sets in there somewhere. Another pro to this is that it's actually relatively quiet. Uh, it's electric, so when you're not actually spraying anything, it's completely off and dead silent. And when you are spraying it, it's not too terribly offensively loud. I mean, it's definitely makes a noise, but it's not anything crazy that would, you know, drive your neighbors mad. It's not like firing up a gas, you know, Honda engine on a pressure washer or something like that. So it's not that obnoxious to use all the time. And probably my biggest favorite pro about this thing at all is the price. Like I said, um, you can find this thing on sale all the time for close to $100. And for that, it's a really great package to start with. 
For my needs for washing a car, it's more than enough. I've been really happy with it. It's easy to use. Uh, it does exactly what it needs to do. It's not overpowered, it's not underpowered. And especially for a hundred and like, I think it's $107 right now as of the filming of this video. It may change a little bit, but keep an eye on Amazon because they seem to run sales all the time. You know, if you are in a crunch and you need to buy it at Home Depot, you can. If not, it's close to $100. That's a crazy price for what you get. It's all in the box. The only thing you need is a hose from your wall spout into the pressure washer. So kind of that feed line. But there are a few things that I don't like about this. There's not a lot, but there are a few things that are definitely worth mentioning. I know I said I like the sprayer that comes with it, and it's not bad by any means. Like I said, for the price that I paid, I expect this. Um, but this is one of the items that feels a little bit lower quality, and I am really looking forward to buying a more professional grade uh, kind of swivel handle, short stubby uh, pressure washer so that I can use like a foam cannon. If you do use a foam cannon, which I haven't yet, I have one but I haven't really used it yet, you're sticking it on the end of this long wand, so it's kind of weird to hang off the edge uh, and have something heavy filled with uh, you know, your soap in it at the end of this. It's not the most ideal if you're really dead set on using a foam cannon. And then probably the biggest, you know, there's really only two gripes with that. One is the sprayer itself. But the biggest gripe I have, the biggest con with this that I'm going to replace immediately is the included high pressure hose. Now I know it comes with a 20 foot high pressure hose like this, but it's really stiff. It's really hard to use. And I noticed that when I was walking around the car with it and stuff, this is just one of those hoses that doesn't want to unshape itself. It doesn't want to lay out. So as you're walking around with it, it's constantly wanting to pull the pressure washer weird ways because it just won't lay flat. It's just, it's just a cheap hose they threw in with it to meet a price point. I understand that. And again, like I said, with the fact that I knew I was buying something this inexpensive to start with, this doesn't offend me really, but it's just one of the places that I'm definitely going to replace uh, as soon as I can. Uh, after using it a few times, I'm just kind of like, Cool, it's there. I guess you can use it if you just get started, but like you're gonna wanna replace this pretty quick. And then I guess this is kind of a tiny nitpicky thing is that the actual adapter to the hose thing like I was talking about a minute ago to your spout, like the inlet water, uh, that is a cheaper connector type. It's kind of plastic. The threads are plastic on it and it's not, it doesn't feel super durable. I'm really careful with my things. I'm gonna take really good care of this. I'm not gonna be throwing it around and stuff. So I'm not super worried about these components breaking or anything like that but it's just one of those things to keep in mind. You may want to invest in more expensive, nicer adapters uh, like that. It doesn't leak at all, but it's just one of those things to note, just to be aware of. Yeah, and that's pretty much it with the uh, pressure washer. I mean, like, it's a pressure washer, so like I said at the beginning, there's not a ton to talk about. Um, overall, I'm extremely happy with it. Like I said, for the price point, I don't think you can be beat without warranty. It's backed by Obsessed Garage, so that's a cool you know, plus to it. If, if he's put the research in and like he recommends it, it's probably gonna be worth your, you know, at least looking into a little bit. Um, it takes up not a lot of space, it's really light, it's easily portable. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the hose that it comes with, but again, it'll get you started. Um, but it's one thing that you can save that money by this pressure washer and invest that you know, 50 to $100 in a really good solid uh, nicely built hose and you'll be set. Yeah, so with that, I mean, that's pretty much just about it. Um, so I hope you guys found this video helpful. Like I said before, if you have any more questions or want to know more about the product that I talked about this video and things like that, check out the links in the description below. And with that, till next time.